In previous chapter, we learned about filters and interceptors, their properties, their sequence of execution, all those stuff. In this chapter, we will write program and implement it and see their sequence of execution. So to do that, I have uh, created dynamic web project server filters and interceptors. And as usual, I have copied existing codes from uh, it, the response codes project, which we have developed. So we have we have this code which we have already written now what i will do i will enhance this code and implement filters and interceptors here so to do that let me create one package for filter and one package for interceptors so create this package and then create another package for interceptors Now in these filters, I will create three filters. I'm here. I'm creating the server side filters. And as you have, as you know that in, in server side, we can have request filter as well as response filter. And in request filter, we can have a pre matching request filter and post matching request filter. So total three filters. So let's create those filters. Uh, let me name it as my pre matching request filter now this filter should implement container request filter interface so implements container request filter if you see this interface it has one function called filter which we will have to override so let us override this function public void filter and here is the argument in this function container request context ctx so inside this function i'm not doing anything what i will do i will simply print system out so that you can see the sequence of their execution and to be clear on the sequence of of execution one useful thing will be to see the timestamp so let me define a timestamp which will be the current time so timestamp t is equal to new timestamp uh, system dot current time in milliseconds and I will print it system dot out dot print ln t so pre matching request filter since you are overriding this function so use override annotation let us import necessary classes Okay, so this here I have implemented my pre matching request filter. If you remember for for you to define a request filter as a pre matching request filter, you will have to use annotation pre matching. So this completes my pre matching request filter at server side. Now let me create next filter, which is post matching request filter. So as you know, there is nothing like post matching annotation for that. All you need to do to define a request filter as a post matching filter is to do nothing. So you, you will not write any annotation here. So let me do that. My post matching request filter everything else will remain same you will implement container request filter container request filter and you will override filter function and again here i will print the timestamp of their execution 
so let me create current timestamp timestamp system dot current time mills system dot out dot println so my post matching post matching filter request import necessary packages okay and here you will use override annotation because you are overriding filter function and since this is post matching request filter you need not to write there is nothing like post matching annotation so in pre matching you write you use this pre matching annotation and for post matching uh, post matching filter you will leave it as it is next thing is the response filter so let me create a response filter here my response filter response filter for this you will have to implement container response filter and in the re response filter if you see there is one function filter the so you will override this function public void filter and if you see their parameters there is container request context and container response context again same thing i will do here for timestamp and as usual use override annotation here so this is my response filter import the packages so i have implemented three filters here pre matching request filter post matching request filter and response filter now at the server side i will implement the interceptors so let me create the new class and i will name it as my writer interceptor so as you know that interceptors can be writer interceptor or reader interceptor so this is my writer interceptor and writer interceptor should implement writer interceptor interface and this interface has one function around write so we will implement this we will override this so public void round right and then if you see their arguments writer interceptor context ctx and again i will do the timestamp thing here Now one important point to keep in mind is that um, you will have to call proceed function so ctx dot proceed unless you do this it will not go to the next node in the chain so if you don't write ctx dot proceed um, and you call the get function you will see the empty response which we don't want similarly we will implement uh, reader interceptor so and here of course uh, override annotation and then import the packages
next is reader interceptor so i will name it as my reader interceptor and as you can guess it implements reader interceptor and it has one function around read from so we will override that function and this function returns object so public object around read from and you can see the arguments here reader interceptor context so all the same things here in fact you will have to uh, read ctx.proceed also so you can just copy paste from my writer interceptor everything except that you will like to change this string here import the necessary packages and yes it throws iu exception and web application exception so you will have to write here throws iu exception and web application exception You will return ctx dot context dot proceed so because this proceed function it returns object and this is the return value so we have implemented uh, reader interceptor and writer interceptor in the inter interceptors package next and last step is you will have to register these classes in app config um, in your application class so uh, let's start registering them classes dot add dot class classes dot add is dot add my response filter similarly you will add interceptors here my reader interceptor and my right interceptor classes dot add my right interceptor okay so we have registered all the classes in application class now let's build this project So let me call this URL and see how filters and interceptors come in picture. Wow, this is error. So what is the error here? Oh, we have not declared throws clause here. So that is the problem. So throws are you exception and web application exception. The way we did for read interceptor same we need to do for write interceptor and web application exception okay so this should fix it what else
import the packages deploy it again and call this URL you got the response let's see what what was the sequence of execution so you can see that first pre-matching request filter was called then post matching request filter was called then my response filter was called and then my writer interceptor was called so the sequence of filters and interceptors that is being called is as expected but one missing thing is that i don't see that reader interceptor was called so why reader interceptor was not called remember that reader interceptor or writer interceptor comes into picture only when your request or response has entity or body in it when you call a get request there is no body in the request there is only header and reader interceptor is called first but i mean reader interceptor is invoked based on the request uh, request at the server side since uh, there was no body so reader interceptor was not invoked but when you when server processed it and sent back the response so response was having body and that was the reader that uh, that was the reason that writer interceptor was invoked similarly if you call put operation from here if you invoke put method so here you can see that reader interceptor was invoked so first pre-matching request filter was invoked then post matching request filter then reader in interceptor and then response filter and here you see that that writer interceptor is missing the reason is same because the response of put request doesn't have any body so writer interceptor is missing so in this chapter we learned how to implement uh, all different type of filters and interceptors at server side we also saw their sequence of execution we also learned that reader and writer interceptor may or may not get invoked depending on whether the request or response has an entity or body or not so this was all for this chapter thank you